Hey, I'm meteorologist Doug Myers with the latest look at your forecast. Yesterday, we had highs generally in the upper 80s and low 90s, a little bit cooler in Concordia. And on this first full day of summer, we'll be very similar in the upper 80s, low 90s, a little bit more sun today and not the uh, rain that we had from uh, yesterday morning and early afternoon, especially in our Western communities. We, I don't think we'll have much in the way of any rain today, but can't completely rule it out. It's not a 0% chance of rain today, so we still have to pay close attention to the uh, skies later on this afternoon. This model wants to indicate some pop-up showers and thunderstorms probably close to 5, 6 o'clock and into the evening hours. And see by 8 o'clock, maybe some pop-up showers around the Council Grove, Emporia, Burlington, Osage City area south of I-70. Okay, so we'll see about that. Here's a look at our other computer model showing these uh, showers and thunderstorms a little bit earlier and a little bit more widely scattered. I just, I don't see much in the way of uh, rain developing today. I will put it into not the official forecast in the eight day, but the uh, forecast on the uh, forecast discussion saying that we can completely roll it out but it's likely uh, going to stay dry. It'll be something to watch out for. Otherwise, uh, any storms that uh, do develop this afternoon should quickly diminish once we head past sunset. And then the question is, will those storms out in the western portions of Nebraska and northwest Kansas by the evening hours make its way into our area? Well, latest computer models have it sliding just to the uh, west and to the south of the WWW area. Perhaps maybe a brief shower early in the morning on Friday, but for the most part, it does remain dry. And then as we head towards Friday night into uh, Saturday, notice that most of the uh, rain on this model stays up to our north. I'm still going to hold on to a chance of rain Friday night as some models do indicate that we might get at least a little bit better chance. Again, this will be probably after midnight, so any Friday evening plans that you have should be okay. But late Friday night into Saturday morning, and then we'll watch through the day on Saturday. Not really showing much, if anything at all, through 7 o'clock. Just to give you an idea of what other computer models are indicating, the one I just showed you was the graph. Through Saturday morning, you'll notice that we're not looking at overly heavy rainfall for those that uh, may get some rain through Saturday morning. But uh, the heavier rain, if there is going to be any, would stay out towards central Kansas and south of I-70, similar to where much of the rain ha was from yesterday. As a matter of fact, the Storm Prediction Center does continue to bring a marginal to slight risk of severe weather across the area Saturday into Saturday night. Okay, so we're still monitoring it. I'm still not totally convinced on this weather pattern. Models are just not handling this weather situation very well. In fact, taking a look at the European, really nothing Saturday or Sunday. Again, this is just Saturday and Sunday. This is not through Sunday with today and tomorrow included. This is just for the weekend. So most of the rain staying in western Missouri. The GFS, still not much. So it's not a great chance. And as I've mentioned all week, don't cancel outdoor plans, but be ready for storms. And the conditional risk that if storms do develop, there is a perhaps chance that some of them could be severe, especially closer to the Missouri border. No matter what, no matter if we get storms or if it stays dry, it's going to likely be hotter on Saturday and more humid because the frontal boundary pushes through Sunday. It stays hot, though, but it does get relatively cooler than Saturday and there will be less humidity. So that'll help. We will have an opportunity for storms Tuesday night, and then here comes the extreme heat for Wednesday and Thursday in the upper 90s. Certainly a good possibility, so we'll keep an eye on that as well. But as far as storm chances are concerned, I would not be surprised at all that um, there will be several areas that don't get a drop of rain for the next eight days, even with the chance that we have Friday night and Saturday, and again Tuesday night. Would not be surprised that there were several areas that didn't get anything at all between those chances. But there could also be some chances of rain that I don't have in this forecast like today that we saw in Supercast. This is really kind of a tricky weather pattern. But bottom line is, the heat is hit or stay. Extreme on some days, especially Saturday and Wednesday and Thursday. Just general hot on the other days. But it's going to be hot. Get ready for that. So have a great day and stay cool and stay safe.